Dear brothers and sisters, allies of Ukraine around the world, I appeal to you from bleeding, courageous and steadfast in face Ukraine, my dear motherland. This time of big trials, when the Russian army and Putin's cynical order invaded Ukraine to enslave us, to take away our freedom and independence, trample on our living face in God, destroy our cities and villages, kill our people, we stand, fight and pray daily. We pray for God's mercy and help, for our army, for volunteers, physicians, nurses, and rescuers for our government, for all allies of Ukraine around the world. We firmly believe that our deed is righteous and our war is just. We stand on our land, which the Lord has given us. Our enemy is strong and insidious. On his side is the enemy of all mankind, the devil, the father of all lies. Because the horrible crimes that Moscow is committing in Ukraine today are the work of the devil. But on our side is a just, righteous and almighty God. That is why we will win. We will defeat the occupiers together with all Ukraine's allies. This struggle is fierce and bloody. This is a struggle between good and evil, between light and darkness. Today, the latest history of Ukraine and the world is being written. The names of all who took the side of truth, goodness and justice in this terrible war will be inscribed in the modern history of the world in golden letters. We thank you for your support and for your prayers. We thank both presidents and governments. We highly appreciate every help to Ukraine in these times of trials. We highly appreciate every effort to help the people of Ukraine. May the Lord keep and bless you richly. May he bless with his goodness and mercy everyone who now prays for Ukraine and supports us. May the grace of God be with you now and forever. Glory to Ukraine, glory to heroes. In Jesus' name, Amen.